This is Kelly Hill, Executive Editor of RCR Wireless News. I'm joined today by Ken Bednas, who is VP of Application Engineering for Tellit. How are you, Ken? Hi, good, Kelly. Good, good. I'm glad to have you with us. We're going to be talking about some of Tellit's recent news on the IoT front and uh, in regards to FirstNet readiness. Um, <clears throat> So we've seen a number of announcements from Tellit recently uh, regarding a new module form factor, as well as uh, FirstNet module readiness review approvals that have gone through and that are accelerating IoT application development. Um, let's start with the announcement about the, the new form factor, Ultra Compact. Um, tell us a little bit about that and, and what it means for IoT solutions. Yeah, absolutely. So Tellit has traditionally been uh, focusing on our 910 form factor, which is really our flagship product, and we're able to provide all the wireless technology in that form factor. And as IoT expands into new vertical markets, we're being asked to reduce size, cost, power. And we thought the best way to do that was to introduce a new form factor, our XE310 form factor, which is really focused on reducing size, you know, along with, with cost and power. But the size of the 310 form factor is a big differentiator compared to what we have in the market today and what the competition has on the market today. It's a 15 by 15 LGA form factor. So we're talking the size a little bit bigger than a penny, which is saving you 75% over the existing flagship 910 products that we offer today. So it's a very compact form factor that's really focused on wearables, on fitness products, um, compact sensors. So we're trying to take IoT market to the next level by having something that's very easy to use, very compact, very small. And when we designed the 310 form factor, we put a lot of thought into it. How do we make it easier to use for engineers? How do we make it easier to integrate for software developers? So we really took a holistic view when designing the 310 form factor. And with the 310 form factor, we're focused on bringing multiple wireless technologies uh, to market in that form factor. So we don't want to have uh, our integrators and partners have to choose one technology. We want them to be able to design in the 310 form factor and decide on what technology makes sense for them. And so we're offering, um, you know, LTE technologies. We're launching with CAT M1 and Narrowband 1, and also with 2G technologies. And we have the ability to bring that and profile that along additional wireless technologies, including Wi-Fi and Bluetooth. So again, the, the whole concept around the 310 is how do we, you know, help IoT expand? How do we get to new markets? And we believe the 310 is the answer to that. Wow, and you guys also recently announced that um, that one of your modules received FirstNet readiness review approval. Um, can you explain what that means and why it's important? Yes, yeah, you know, Telet has been committed to the wireless space for almost 20 years now. Um, we've been working in uh, North America with leading network operators like AT&T for about 13 years, dating back to 2005, 2006. And most recently, we were all in and fully committed on a new FirstNet initiative which is public safety initiative with AT&T. Um, and so what we've done at Telet is we designated four products for FirstNet network. Three of them are FirstNet ready with, with band support for band 14. And then we have one that's FirstNet capable taking an existing product and adding public safety uh, features for FirstNet on it. So what we did, uh, the recent announcement that you're referring to is for our LM960 mini PC data card that has received both AT&T and FirstNet approval. So it's a mini PC data card that supports gigabit LTE speeds. So that's 5X carrier aggregation, um, 1.2 gig download speeds, and 1. Uh, 150 megabit upload speeds. So we're really gearing this product toward public safety. Um, it's a global product. And the beauty about what FirstNet is doing in the US government is they picked a standard through 3GPP for, for, for public safety. So we're talking about a product that's not only capable to work over the FirstNet network, but also other competing networks in North America and also globally. So it's truly a, for a public safety product that we're bringing to the market. And so the nice thing about what Telet is doing is we're taking our existing products with our existing ecosystem. We're not creating new four factors. We're not trying to you know start designs from ground up. We're just enabling existing families of product with first net and public safety capabilities. So if you take a step back and what we're doing, we have two key four factors that we, 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 we push. We push our mini PCIe cards, which are really built for router boxes and, and, and gateways and, and mobile computing. And so we're enabling two of those products with first net. First one is LM960 that you mentioned that's approved today. And we have an LM940 product, which is an existing product, which will be approved over the next few weeks. And we're also doing it 
outer embedded products, which are more for ruggedized uh, um, scenarios like wearables, uh, uh, sensors in the field. Um, and so what we're doing there is we're taking our LE910 C4 and LE910 C1 products, and we're enabling them with first net capability along with the traditional mobile network operators like AT&T, Verizon, T-Mobile, and, and the Canadian operators. So we're bringing four products to market. Um, we really see public safety evolving uh, the IoT ecosystem. You know, when I take a step back, I think, uh, you know, FirstNet is going to do a great job of helping, you know, make, make U.S. a safer place. We're talking about everything from, you know, better uh, lighting detection for parking lot, parking lot lights, which can detect uh, sounds and noises, um, you know, for gunshots or, or even graffiti and also putting in sensors for air quality. So if there's some kind of chemicals that are released, they can detect them ahead of time. And the whole concept with first and public safety is be more proactive than reactive. Because today, what's happening is everybody is calling in an event. If there's a fire or emergency, you have to wait for somebody to call it in, and you lose a lot of valuable time. So I think moving forward, the whole concept is to have sensors report data real time, so we can be more proactive. Um, our, our embedded products are also going into uh, vehicle tracking, so we're, we're enabling first responders with tracking locations of their vehicles and of themselves so we can route people a lot faster to to the scene of the event and, and be more effective. So the whole first initiative is really important for TELIT. Again, we've been in this IoT industry for almost 20 years, and we see this as another step for further expansion. Okay. Well, this seems like a some interesting additions to the ecosystem there. Um, do you guys have other certifications that you expect? And I don't know if you can get into at all what this means for first responder applications? Yes, so you know, as we talked about earlier, we really focused a lot on FirstNet and AT&T approvals with the four products we're bringing to market, the two LE910C products and the LM940 and LM960. But what we're doing is taking those same products and expanding the certifications across different network operators in North America. So there are other operators that will offer public safety capabilities. So we're going to take those same products and, and certify them with the other major network operators like Verizon, T-Mobile, Sprint, and the Canadian operators with Bell, Tells, and Rogers. And then we're taking the global data products, the, the mini PC cards like the LM960 uh, gigabit LT product, and doing global pools on it. So we're not stopping in North America. Um, we're taking it to, you know, Australia with Telstra. We're taking it to uh, the European operators, GCF approvals, the you know, CE marking, red approvals. So we're really taking that product globally. And so what we run and really want to focus on is not only our product approvals, but it's really getting our customer's product to market. One, because it makes a difference, right? With a, with a certified module is only the first step. It's really working with our partners and making sure their products are successful is where we see our satisfaction. And so... Uh, we have uh, multiple products that are going through first net approvals right now with, with our LM960 inside. So it's a, definitely an exciting time. And, you know, my focus and my team is really around helping customers get to market successfully. Okay. Great. Well, thanks for the insights today, Ken. We appreciate it. Okay. Thank you, Kelly.